Good morning, year three. Today, you're going to write the fifth voice, voices in the past. This voice is going to be from Albert, Smudge's dog. To begin with, I'm going to read through the whole book. While I'm reading, read along with me and take notice of what Albert is doing in each image. First voice. It was time to take Victoria, our pedigree Labrador, and Charles, our son, for a walk. When we arrived at the park, I let Victoria off her lead. Immediately, some scruffy mongrel appeared and started bothering her. I shooed it off, but the horrible thing kissed her all over the park. I ordered it to go away, but it took no notice of me whatsoever. Sit! I said to Charles, and here. I was just planning what we should have to eat that evening when I saw Charles had disappeared. Oh dear, where had he gone? You get some frightful types in the park these days. I called his name for what seemed like an age. Then I saw him talking to some very rough, oh, oh, sorry, talking to a very rough looking child. Charles, come here at once, I said. And come here, please, Victoria. We walked home in silence. Second voice. Oh, we needed to get out of the house. So me and Smudge took the dog to the park. He loves it there. I wish I had half the energy he's got. I settled on a bench and look through the paper for a job. I know it's a waste of time, really, but you've got to have a little bit of hope, haven't you? Then it was time to go. Smudge cheered me up. She chatted happily to me all the way home. Third voice. I was at home on my own again. It was so boring. Then Mummy said that it was time for our walk. There was a very friendly dog in the park, and Victoria was having a great time. I wished I was. Do you want to come on the slide? A voice asked. It was a girl. Unfortunately, but well, I went anyway. She was brilliant on the slide. She went really fast. Oh, The two dogs raced around like old friends. The girl took off, took off her coat and swung on the piano frame. So I did the same. I'm good at climbing trees, so I showed her how to do it. She told me her name was Smudge. I don't know, I know, but she's quite nice. Then Mummy put us talking together and I had to go home. Maybe Smudge will be there next. voice. Dad had been really fed up, so I was pleased when he said we could go and take Albert to the park. Albert's always in such a hurry to be left off his lead. He went straight up to this lovely dog and sniffed his bum. He always does that. Of course, the other dog didn't mind, but its owner was really angry. Silly twin. Got talking to this boy. Thought he was a bit of a wimp at first, but he's okay. We played on the seesaw, and we didn't say much, but later on, he was a bit more friendly. We both burst out laughing when we saw Albert having a swim, and we played on the bandstand. I felt really, really happy. Charlie picked me a flower and gave it to me. Then his mum called him, and he had to go home. He looked sad. When I got home, I put the flower water and made Dad a nice cup of tea. So the first step in writing our fifth voice chapter is that we need to sequence the events that will make up the chapter. So what does Albert get up to in this story? I want you to
to pause the video here and have a look through your copy of the book. Note down what Albert does in chronological order, that is, the order in which he does them, and how he might be feeling in each scene. Once you're done, I'll go through the events that I have done. Just a little hint, I've got seven events to talk about. Now my sequence of events for Albert is number one, he enters the park. And at this stage, he's feeling really excited. The second one is he meets the other dog. He's met a little friend to play with. He's feeling happy now. Third point is he runs around. Now he runs around with his new friend and they are having a great time. Number four, he explores the park with the other dog. That is getting a bit hot and a bit thirsty now. He's been running around quite a lot. Next one, he has a swim in the fountain. And while he's doing that, he can have a nice little drink, cool down, get himself refreshed. The next next stage, not the sixth, sixth thing, scene that happens, is that he jumps around on the bandstand. And he's getting dry while he's doing that, and he's having fun, fun with the children as well. And the last step, that's number seven in my list of events, is that he heads home, and he is worn out from all the excitement and he's looking forward to another little snooze. So now that we've got our list of events, we have, we have the order that our story will go in and we know what we will focus on. Now remember, you are writing from the perspective of Albert. You are Albert the dog. Because of this, you're gonna be writing in first person. So you'll be using the pronouns I, we, our, or my. So I've got a couple of examples for you. First step that he does is he enters the park. I was really excited about going to the park. It's my favourite place to go. Having been cooped up and asleep for most of the day, I was ready to stretch my legs. That's what I wrote for the first event. Second event, he meets the other dog. As soon as I walk, as soon as I was off the lead. I went running. I saw another dog. She looked friendly, so I went over. Her person was very moody, so we ran off together. And I've got an example of the third event too, when they run about. We ran and ran and ran, right to the edges of the park. We were having the best time. So now you've heard my three examples. I'd like you to do a little sentence for each of your examples. Now, as you heard, they do not need to be pages and pages of writing. They're just short sentences, one or two sentences but per point, and when you put them all together, they're going to make a good, decent sized paragraph. Now, this is how I've set them up. What I've done is I've done the title of my event. And remember, I had seven of them. I've done three here as an example for you. I wrote the title as an event, and then underneath, I've got just two or three lines to explain what happened in each of those events. Tomorrow, you're going to be revising and editing this writing. So please use the extended write rules and leave a line between each line of writing. So you write on a line, you leave a line. You write on a line, you leave a line. There you go. Have fun writing your new chapter, year three, and I will see you again tomorrow.